Welcome back. We're going to do another Harley video today. So we're going to do my first oil change on this. Now mind you, it's not the first oil change that was done on the bike. Um, the bike did have its break-in service at 1,000 miles by the previous owner. I just crossed over 2,000 miles on it. But I don't really know the history of when the service was done on the bike and all that. So I think I'd feel better with just some fresh oil and stuff in it. Plus, I'm going to the, uh, not sure if he's got synthetic in it or not, but I am moving to the Screaming Eagle uh, synthetic oil in it. So, I got a Harley filter, new O-ring for the drain plug. I'll put all that information in the uh, comments below. And we'll go ahead and get started. First thing, get the, uh, as per the owner's manual, before doing the oil, is getting the bike up to temperature. Just going to kind of suck because that'll make the oil really hot, but we'll go ahead and get run it for a little bit and uh, go ahead and start. Before we start, you want to pop your uh, your oil fill cap out before you start draining the oil. All right, with it ready, we'll start and pull the drain plug, which is on the back of the motor transmission, I guess on the back side it's this 5 8 bolt here so we got a low pro drain pan here and we'll go ahead and pop this off it's a 5 8 There's a little magnet on the end. Uh, inspect that for any excessive metal or anything. And we went ahead and cleaned it off, pulled the old pulled the old O-ring off, and we'll go ahead and pop our new O-ring on. Just like that. Lube it up in some oil. Right, it's down to a slow drip, so we'll go ahead and put our plug back in with our new O-ring. Make sure your O-ring's got... It's lubed up with a nice bit of oil. The drain out of the way, we get our torque wrench and the drain plug bolt torques uh, between 14 and 21 foot pounds so I picked uh, I put 19 just like kind of in the middle so we'll go ahead and torque this down so I got this little kit from Amazon comes with a filter wrench and some funnels like your uh, primary case funnel and this for the oil filter so our oil filters up in the front here this guy I guess kind of slides in underneath to catch the oil we'll put our filter wrench on get a little extension and start unscrewing the filter and hopefully not make a mess actually worked pretty well Let's see how much of a mess I made underneath Ooh.
Had a little bit of weak buy, but not too bad. We got our new Harley oil filter. Go ahead and move your seal up just like you do on a car oil filter. Make sure this is wiped down in here. Right, you hand tight at one and a half turns to three quarter turns after the uh, gasket touches. So we already got it pretty much there. We'll call that good. And we'll get a little brake clean around where it spilled on the engine case there. All right, now we're going to add the initial volume of oil, which the owner's manual says uh, four quarts. Fill up four quarts. With all that in, we'll check the uh, cold oil level. like it's about halfway up the stick so with it full hot it should be at the full level on the stick so that's the next check is to check it at hot so we'll go ahead and clean up our area and start it and let it run all right after running it it's just barely on the tip of the dipstick just barely touching the tip sorry I probably can't really see it but with it just touching the tip it says to add a quart so we'll go ahead and probably add three quarters of this quart last quart I have Let's see where we sit Exhaust is hot. We're about halfway up. So yeah, go ahead and add the full quart. We should be good. So they give you they give you five quarts at the dealer. So we'll add the rest. Right, I'm going to start it back up and let it run for a bit and then check it again. I just ran it some more. That's nice and hot. We'll check it again. right at the full line being hot so say it takes right at five quarts when you're all said and done may vary I know some cars will say it takes you know so much amount of oil and some take less some take more so definitely want to always do your checks uh, checked underneath we're not leaking anything down there and then not leaking anything around the oil filter, so should be good to go. 
and we're at 2,000 miles now so I'll probably do the next one at probably 5,000 and go ahead and do the transmission and everything so in case you're wondering Harley does have owner's manuals so you can unlock your owner's manual on their website just type it in your VIN and you can pull the owner's manual for your bike and it has the uh the maintenance schedules and all that and it even has some helpful tips on how to do basic maintenance on the bike with that uh that's the end of this video and we'll see you on the next one